The next abstract thinking tool is application applying things in real life. So the difficulty here is that the real life provides lots of lots of specific situations and we learned many different rules, theories, models and which one should we apply and why. And sometimes you can have more abstract uh, approaches and you have to be able to choose. So let's assume that you are a judge at a court and you have a case and then you realize that uh, at least the both sides, they are both of right and they argue with uh, legal precedents and rules that they have the case, but it can be many more uh, different uh, rules or laws that can be applied in this situation, but which one? Or the same, let's say you learn a language, let's say English, and there are different tenses. So which tense should I use in this situation? Yes, you can learn abstract rules and you have the 12 tenses and each of them in average have five different situations when you can use it. It's let's say 60, so you prepare generally, but how can you apply this in the real uh, life? And of course you have to apply it very fast. And a lot of times, let's say, you can use two or three different things of so which one that seems logical that it, it fits to this one uh, or that one. So the, this is a skill and you need a lot of feedback and uh, testing whether this one applies better or not. So sometimes it's not about this one is right or this one is wrong, but this one applies more in this situation or this is this has a precedent so let's say just in the case of the court and the judge you can have 10 different laws that can cover a case and uh, which one to apply so it, it depends on preferences uh, precedents and uh, expectation from 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 your boss and maybe you worry about different consequences or you can be attacked. So uh, applying anything that re learned abstract rules, models. Now, okay, let's say out of time that in a test in physics, so which, which formula should I use? Of course, it is because you didn't learn very well, but this is the difficulty in, uh, in things that, so, so you should, because this is the main point, you should be able to apply and know which one to apply uh, in real life, because that's the main point in abstract thinking, that you learn in abstract, but you can actually use and benefit from it in real life. So learn these skills, and it's always uh, domain specific. So you cannot learn some uh, how to apply rules in art, and you can transfer this knowledge into into making decision in a court situation. So you, it, it is very domain specific, very specific to the examples, the, the real life uh, instances that you can uh, use it.